Business Today is brought to you by Signal Financial Group. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signia to be sure. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs. This is the Business Today for Tuesday, February 17, 2015. I'm Vic Fernandes. The Financial Services Commission, FSC, is close to completing its new regulatory framework to monitor the non-banking financial services industry. Chief Executive Officer of the FSC, Randy Graham, tells Business Today that the new risk-based supervision structure, which provides real-time monitoring, is likely to be fully in place by year-end. Under the old regulatory framework, the FSC used a compliance-based system where it depended on companies to submit documents after they released their financial statements. The new system, however, helps to identify risks in each company in the sector and ensures those companies are meeting requirements related to those risks on an ongoing basis. It's a stronger, more robust regulatory framework, and essentially it, it gives the regulator the opportunity to, aim to, to, to intervene quicker if something is going wrong in the entity. We don't have to wait for all the financial statements. Uh, because we are monitoring on, almost on a quarterly basis, as um, hopefully as things go, if things are going in the wrong direction, uh, we can come in fast to, to correct particular issues. And uh, we are almost, uh, I would say we are about uh, maybe 85, 90% there with that system. Um, but yeah, this year we should hopefully have, uh, you know, completely full, full integration. One local company in Spitestown is pulling out all the stops to ensure that Sleepy Town is revived. Latitude Beach Bar and Grill has been hosting a number of special events to lure more people to the Northern Parish. Speaking to Business Today at one of the recent pre-Carnival Trinidad theme events, Chef Adon Rogers said he believed the town is in line to witness increased activities in the coming years and his company intends to be part of the action. Rogers said although the recession has impacted operations, the current winter season has been good due to patronage from tourists at the nearby former Ammon Beach village. Latitude Bar and beach facility, which was formerly Mangoes by the Sea, has been in operation for the past five years. Business is developing. Spice Town is, is going to, in, in a couple of years, just, you know, move to High Hulk. So we're, we're developing, we're training staff, we got some young people coming in, we're giving them the opportunity uh, as we work with some of the, the most seasoned people inside the industry. We bring on younger people and we kind of like clasp hands and, and, and get the development going because the concept is we want to take the experience and we want to develop for the future. Our young people in Barbados, this part of the, the country, it needs that kind of interest and, and, and development and business here in Spice Town so we can go forward. More non-traditional sectors could soon be opening their doors in office spaces being rented by the Barbados Investment and Development Corporation, BIDC. Word of this from Minister of Finance, Chris Sinclair, as he spoke at the official opening of the Financial Services Commission's FSC's new office at the Harbour Industrial Estate yesterday. The company moved its operations from the Warrens Industrial Park in mid-December to its new home at the BIDC-owned Building No. 4, Harbour Road. Traditionally, the estates of the BIDC have been predominantly rented by operators in the manufacturing and agricultural industries. However, Mr. Sinclair says this has been slowly changing. And it just goes to show how over time things can shift. Barbados has gone from many years ago being an agrarian economy, agricultural base. We had uh, uh, some positive flirtations with manufacturing in the, in the 60s and 70s and part of the 80s. And then we transition into a services-based economy, largely led by financial services, financial uh, banking services, and so forth and so on. And so as, as that has changed, we now have here in the, uh, the harbour uh, industrial estate area uh, the presence of the premier 
uh, non-bank financial regulatory institution in Barbados. It must really send a signal to the rest of Barbados if, it, if we weren't listening that, you know, not only have things changed, but uh, spaces will change. And you will see more of this even as the uh, BIDC uh, seeks to uh, sublease, uh, sublet these spaces to uh, different entities operating in sectors not necessarily and ordinarily familiar with these particular uh, now for today's financial tip. A simple way to cut back on unnecessary spending is to make a list of what you want and look for sales and off-season bargains. That's been The Business Today. Join us again on Thursday. Until then, you can get more business and news by logging on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribing to our e-paper and liking us on Facebook. I'm Vic Fernandes. Business Today is brought to you by Signal Financial Group. To my people out there working hard to expand your horizons, chasing a flawless dream. Keep your eyes on the prize and we don't look back. It's forward thinking, on to the new stuff. It's time to lay bricks on the foundation of your future. Get set for Signia to be sure. Signia, quality solutions for your financial needs.